I'm Zoe Howe and I'm a music writer. Um, I've written a few books, uh, one of which uh, is of local interest. It, I worked with Wilco Johnson on his, uh, his memoir, Looking Back at Me, which came out a couple of years ago. Uh, my first book was the authorised biography of the punk band The Slits and uh, the next book I've got coming out is uh, about the Jesus and Mary chain. Uh, but at the moment, uh, I've just launched a crowdfunding campaign uh, via the publishers Unbound uh, because they've just accepted uh, my proposal for um, a book about Lee Brillo, um, Dr. Feelgood's uh, frontman and uh, all-round wonderful guy. It wasn't intentional this way, but this year, in fact, almost you know, just a few weeks away is the 20-year anniversary of, of Lee's untimely passing. Um, so, uh, you know, it's all just sort of come, come together in that way, I suppose, and, and, and people are ready to, to kind of, well, I think people have always been ready to celebrate Lee, but, uh, you know, on a wider scale, it seems like a good time to kind of put his story across. You know, he, he was a really kind of multifaceted person, there were so many dimensions to his character, and uh, as, as every, you know, I, I'm just interested in people, really, everybody has their story, and his is a very interesting one. Uh, lots of um, things seem to be kind of pointing me towards uh, the idea of, of, of putting together a book about Lee. Um, the first thing I suppose that really sparked my interest was uh, the uh, documentary Oil City Confidential that was made by Julian Temple. Um, obviously I knew about a little bit about Dr Feelgood, my husband is Dylan Howe, he's Wilco's drummer, so I kind of knew them a little bit via that way, but, um, but when I saw the film I, I just was so lit up by it. Uh, I'd always been really into punk, um, but I hadn't really appreciated uh, quite how instrumental Dr Feelgood were in, uh, in kind of sparking that whole movement and, uh, and punk attitude, so I was really kind of blown away by that. Um, obviously that was a few years ago, and um, I just sort of couldn't believe that nobody had, had, had put together something about Lee. Um, he's such an interesting person in his own right, as well as in the context of the band. Um, so it's an idea I've been kind of thinking about for the past few years and, and kind of putting about and sort of seeing what people thought and, and what was interesting was uh, kind of over the past few years when I kind of suggested it to certain people or, or you know various publishers you know that often the, the answer would be kind of no um, you know the story's been told in Oil City and, and I just thought well I, that's not true <laughs> I just really felt very strongly about it uh, so I just kept it in my mind as I was working on other projects and I spoke to uh, Shirley, Lee's widow, and I said, what do you think, you know, because obviously that's very important to me, you know, to, to have Shirley on board um, and, and to have her blessing. And she said, well, that sounds like a great idea. So I just sort of kept, kept it in my mind and uh, thankfully, unbound, um, I sent a proposal to them and they liked the idea. And it just goes to show that it was, uh, I suppose, an idea that time has come um, because you know, when, when the, uh, the, the launch, the, the campaign was launched to, uh, to look for funding, um, it, the, uh, I mean, it's only been live for about five days and the, uh, the response has been really overwhelming. In terms of uh, putting the book together, um, you know, should the campaign uh, be successful and we, we get our funding to produce the book, um, I'll be doing lots of interviews um, with, with uh, you know, there are lots and lots of people who, who are still around this area who, who, who were great friends with Lee and, you know, have been in touch and said, you know, I'd love to talk to you. So there's, the, you know, I'll definitely be doing lots of interviews and um, I'll be going into to archives and, you know, trying to find as much as I can. And my kind of uh, mission really with this book is to make it a, a little bit like the Wilco book in the sense that it was, you know, obviously the Wilco book was pretty much entirely in Wilco's words, so we can't do it that way, but um, I want to make it like a kind of compendium, um, a sort of, uh, you know, a celebration of all of the things that Lee was really into and lit up by. So obviously there's going to be lots of rock and roll in there, R&B and all, you know, all of that sort of thing is going to be all present and correct, but um, what I really want to reflect are the other sides of his life and his personality that don't always get talked about. Um, and to me, that's often more interesting. We hear about the kind of rock and roll side a lot, you know, and I think people like to sort of see their rock and roll heroes in, in sometimes a bit of a one-dimensional way. We, we, we see that person on stage and they've got a certain persona and, and there's a mystique around that and the theatricality about that. And, I, I, you know, that, that's a, a beautiful thing in itself, but sometimes it's nice to kind of lift up the stone and look underneath it and, uh, 
and see what other interesting things are, are underneath. If you pledge, um, not only will you get your name in the book, um, and there are different pledge levels, um, and there are p new pledges being added as we speak. So at the moment, uh, if you pledge uh, ten pounds, you get an ebook, and um, you get access to my shed, which is <laughs> not my real shed. It's quite untidy, so it's probably quite a good thing. Um, but you, you uh, you'll get exclusive content from me throughout the campaign, and uh, and obviously you get your name in the back of every book that is produced. Um, a higher pledge is £30, that's probably one of the most popular pledges at the moment. You get a first edition hardback of the book um, and everything else I mentioned. And the highest pledge at the moment is £125 and with that you get all of the above and you uh, are still in with the chance of getting a limited edition print of Scott King's fantastic uh, interpretation of Lee Brillo, um, a, a sort of giant Lee uh, standing over South End by the Curzel. It's a wonderful print. Many of you will have seen it already in the Thames Delta exhibition. And that print uh, has been made available to us in a limited number, courtesy of Focal Point Gallery in South End.